In 2014, a little startup named Boom Supersonic made headlines when they announced that they would be bringing back supersonic commercial aviation. And after all that time, they have finally unveiled their supersonic test demonstrator, a major milestone in the return to supersonic commercial flight. With this demonstrator, Boom Supersonic finally can take their first steps in supersonic commercial aviation. So let's go ahead and take a look at how they unveiled their XB1 supersonic demonstrator. And from the very beginning, we've been driven by a singular mission to make the world dramatically more accessible by building aircraft that are faster, less expensive, and more convenient. At supersonic speeds, cities rarely visited can become major destinations. You can cross an ocean, do business, and still be home in time for an evening with loved ones. Global leaders can convene in the same room to resolve a crisis. A donor heart could arrive in time to save a life. And our children can grow up in a world where nothing is foreign any longer. It has been more than half a century since we've had a mainstream speed up in air travel. But during this time, we've made incredible advancements in the foundational technologies for designing, developing, and building aircraft. We have advanced aerodynamics, new materials, and significantly more efficient engines. And today marks a historic milestone at Boom, as we have brought these technologies together for the first time to build a new generation of faster aircraft, of speed in service of greater human connection. And along the way, we have set the principles and the foundation, not just for the technical design of future aircraft, but how we approach our mission in general. We've established our principles of speed, safety, and sustainability without compromise. And we've begun to pave the path toward a mainstream supersonic future. Today we stand here on the precipice of a new age of travel. And I am so proud to announce Supersonic is here. So first impressions here, I love this design. It's very minimalistic and it's very much focused on what they're gonna be looking at and proving their concepts of how they're gonna go forward in designing bigger and faster aircraft. So one thing to notice here is that the wings are actually really small. And the reason they could be so small is because when you're traveling at supersonic speeds, you don't need to be generating very much lift. And in fact, a bigger wing is gonna be actually more detrimental because it's gonna be more skin friction drag. Another thing to note is the long, very skinny nose. This is key in reducing the supersonic shock wave that's gonna occur at the leading edge of the nose. So in other words, they make the nose so skinny so that they can make the supersonic shock wave as weak as possible so they're able to travel faster without creating enormous amounts of wave drag. Another important thing to notice here is they've incorporated what's called the area rule. So in other words, if you look at the fuselage, it gets bigger and then it gets more narrow as you go down the fuselage. And they actually also have these in their concept designs of their larger aircraft and their future commercial aircraft. What their area rule is, is it basically compensates for the increased area of the wing by decreasing the size of the fuselage. This dramatically decreases the wave drag and the skin friction drag on the aircraft. So also in another video, I explained how carbon fiber can be so versatile in aerospace applications. And one of the core principles of this company, as the CEO has explained, is their incorporation of carbon fiber composites 
into their designs. Not only does it make it more lightweight, but like he said in the video here, it's also able to dissipate the heat caused by the large amounts of drag of supersonic flight. We built an aerodynamic analysis tool that we use to optimize our performance across the flight envelope, including supersonic and subsonic conditions. So what they were demonstrating there was their wind tunnel flow visualization tests, where you're actually able to see how the airflow interacts with the aircraft. Not that long ago, supersonic airliners were relics to be found only in museums. But today, we are breathing new life and new purpose into speed. Remember, it's not about spending less time on airplanes. It's about the trips not taken or even imagined today. The need for speed is alive and well. And now we turn to the skies for a future of enduring Oof. supersonic travel. Jeez. Are you ready? Got the chills there for a second. I can't say enough good things about this company. I love their mission statement. You know, it's so simple, but so elegant. It's long overdue. Like Blake Scholl, the CEO here said, the demand for high speed travel still does exist. There is definitely a market for it. But like he said, you know, it's a relic of the past, which doesn't seem intuitive. You know, for the past generation or so, it seems like aerospace engineering has kind of been in a rut on the commercial front they've really dialed into optimizing their designs that exist, but the designs themselves are ridiculously old. So that's where Boom steps in and they found a niche in this market and they really wanna hone into that higher end commercial market. The ones that really care about efficiency and speed and they're absolutely putting that on display here with their aircrafts, which are planned to be much smaller than normal commercial aviation aircraft but also much more luxurious and obviously much faster. I'm really looking forward to see how Boom will perform and how influential this company may or may not be. Either way, it's a fantastic step for a future of supersonic travel, and I can't wait for the day where that's a reality again. So if you enjoyed learning about the future of aerospace engineering as much as I do, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for when my next video comes out. I'll be continuing the update here on all the advancements in air and space. Thank you so much for watching and Godspeed.